Hello there. Uh, I'm going to throw down and play some uh, Guilty Gear X Advanced Edition. And uh, I'm playing as somebody I've not yet played as. I'm giving a contemplation to everybody. And, but let's see, I finally decide on... What's her name? Bacon? Bacon! I could go for some bacon. Uh, she was okay. She was decent. She wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm gonna fight as the guy with the bag on his head. I, not, I'm not gonna fight as. I'm gonna fight against. Uh, I don't remember if I did this story, little briefing, um, about this game. Uh, yeah, this Faust. First, I don't remember if I did a little story briefing in my previous uh, set of uh, videos with the uh, soul bad guy, but uh, let's see, this game takes place a few weeks after the first game, a new commander gear was discovered by the name Dizzy. Worried that a second war would start, another Holy Knights tournament was started. A person who could capture and kill this gear would be rewarded five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Oh great. I gotta okay, let's see. Bacon. Bacon no, I don't wanna Okay, there we go, bacon. Did I win? Was that one or two? Okay, let's see from here. Okay, here's two. Bacon, during the crusade the nation of Japan was destroyed by the gears. Following this, those of Japanese descent who still lived were declared cultural treasures and placed in special colonies. However, the Gears attacked even these colonies. During one attack, the young Bacon, after watching the death of her parents and losing her right arm and left eye, saw standing among the Gears their creator, that man. From that point, she swore revenge, training herself in the use of the katana and dedicated herself to hunting that man down. Bacon was a hidden character in Guilty Gear, but became a normal character in the later installment. Take off that... Oh, that was already... Oh. Uh, let's see. Bacon was a hidden character later installment. She also has an uneasy friendship with Enhi Mito. Stating in one ending in Guilty Gear X, X, that if he finds that man before she does, that she will kill him. Armed with a katana, she also has many hidden surprise weapons within the sleeve of her severed arm. A Japanese mace, a fireworks cannon, a bladed fan, a chain rope, a hook, a claw, and a spear. Her design is based on Yumura Kenshin and Hayashi Fubo's Tanj Tanji Seizen. I don't know if that's how you say it, but... Okay, I didn't even notice she was only had, like, one arm, but okay. Uh... Okay, I can see where it, uh... That's pretty fucking old. Okay, anyway, anyway, anyway. So I started playing this fucking game, and one of the homeless motherfuckers that I gave my card to who used to always like, you know, come to me for all the questions because I supposedly had answers because I was college educated and shit. Give me a call and so I'm still trying to play here and it's like, yeah, blah, 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 and I'm still playing, so. I mean, I'm surprised I didn't do too terribly bad. Um. But that was kind of unexpected. You know, I just thought about, oh, my life sucks, I'm unemployed, everything sucks. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey. I could have really done without hearing from you, but okay. Why must you attack from so far? If you are a man, face me like something. Next terror, I'm at the May ship. Uh, okay. And, uh, what's this guy's name? So I didn't recognize him. Well, I recognized him, but I didn't recognize his name. Face with the name, or whatever. Uh, Johnny. Okay, yeah, Johnny, that guy. That guy! 
Okay. Yep. Well, it doesn't matter what your name is, you're, because you're still going to get fucked up, boy. So, anyway. Yep, yep, yep. So this was cool. Is she playing as Bacon was cool. She was fun to play as. Uh, didn't easily rock out awesome moves and skills like I did with Soul Bad Guy. But, you know, hey, I... I mean, I didn't do ter terribly bad either. I just didn't hit the high-ass combos that I was doing with so bad guys, though, either. But, oh well. I mean, that's okay. I didn't do too entirely bad with her, though. I mean, I could've done better, but I could've done a whole hell of a lot worse. I'm sure there's worse videos than this one out there as well. Shit. But I could sure use getting moves down pat. I just like skip through so many different games, I don't really fucking have time to sit there and try to get all the moves down pat. I like to play a variety of games, I don't like to sit there and play the same fucking game. No well, not anymore. I fu like after I fucking finished playing WoW, I just had like a video game ADD. Like I really could not stand playing too much that was more than four half hour, 45 minutes in one fucking sitting. Like, after that, I started to get fucking anxious and jittery, and I want to get the fuck up and do something. It's like, is this fucking over yet? Is it fucking done yet? I want to get up and, you know, whatever. Ha! After all that talk, you won't can't even come up with some last word. Okay, Russia! Russia! Yes, I'm going to beat up the blonde girl again. Come on, blondie. You're going down, girly. Yes, you are. You're going down. What's her name? Millia Rage? Millia Rage, I think. Maybe. I don't even think I introduced her when I played as Soul Bad Guy. I wasn't really paying attention, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I'm fighting her, and I was like, okay. Yeah. I think I'm still fighting, I'm st I think I'm still talking to the guy at this point, too. We spoke for a good few, whatever, maybe 10-ish minutes, I guess. But I really could have done with Helen here in front of him again. That sounds pretty dick move, though, don't it? Shit. I can't even tell how long we spoke. Oh yeah, like, 7 minutes. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Oh, that's what I think it is. Yeah, I, I didn't want to speak to them anyway. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll, uh, I'm missing the fucking hip hop show tonight. Typical cats were playing in town tonight. Uh, I missed DJ Mark Farina last night, obviously. And tomorrow night, Cool Keith is going to be in town. And it kind of sounds like I might go, and it kind of sounds like I'm probably not going to go anyway. Really, uh, it just depends on the person, so... If they want to go, cool. If they don't, well, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised they're flaky as hell. Oh, and that's going to be the end. You want to beat me? Drop that attitude and work yourself up into a fighting frenzy.